Here's another bargain bin special, and it's harder to get a better deal than this. Just one dollar got me Road Rash for the PC. It's a point-to-point -point street racing game, but instead of playing fair, you can punch and kick your opponents. It's like a beat-em-up with motorcycles. Road Rash is one of my favorite games from my childhood, having originally played the demo version for hours in the 90s, and I still love it. Check out the old Electronic Arts logo, and hey, it's even Windows 95 native. You can tell this came out in the 90s. The manual looks like it was typed up in Microsoft Word. Apparently EA knew this, so if you wanted to fork out another $5, you could get a better manual. I wonder if this still works. Getting the game to even run on a modern computer was a bit of an ordeal. The installer won't launch uh, because it's a 16-bit application, oh boy. Luckily, PlayOldPCGames.com has an EXE file that allows the game to be installed on 64-bit versions of Windows. But I ran into another roadblock when the game looked like this. In order to get rid of the graphical errors, you need to make a bat file in the same folder as the game's EXE file with this text in it. That fixed the problem. Gameplay is really easy to learn. The arrow keys on the keyboard are for left, right, accelerating, and braking. WASD was not a thing back then. In terms of attacking, you can kick, punch, and steal your opponent's weapon. I like kicking my opponents because it makes them literally fly off the screen and hopefully into a wall or an oncoming car. The driving physics aren't bad at all, but it's just weird and unpredictable enough to get you into hilarious situations. For me, that's the biggest appeal of the game. It's not really about winning or losing, but more about the strange and unexpected and ultimately funny things that happen when you play it. It's like those YouTube videos which are made crappy on purpose for comedic effect. It just wouldn't be the same if it were too refined. As you race, you'll have to fight against the other riders, and dodge various environmental hazards like puddles of oil and water, cars, the police, pedestrians, and whatever that is. The cars are like walls, so best to avoid those. Hitting pedestrians can be pretty funny, especially when you get launched several meters into the air. They don't even slow you down that much. The PC version of Road Rash is actually a port of the Panasonic 3DO game, which came out in 1991. The road is rendered in 3D, but everything else, like uh, the cars, motorcycles, and a lot of the environment, are clearly sprites. It's definitely not a seamless combination. The bikes do weird things when you corner, and the perspective of the cars are usually very off. Also notice the cameo appearance of Marty's MX-5 and Moog's Wasabi 900 Turbo. Before and after the race, we're greeted by these interesting full-motion videos. Now you can really tell it's a 3DO game. They are so cheesy, but that's what makes it funny. The menus are very strange. The art style is bizarre, and honestly, I find everything a bit disturbing to look at. I mean, why do they have to look like this? That being said, the music is awesome, and you can even play whatever song you want from the options menu. I'm not sure if I'm going to get into trouble with YouTube if I include these songs in the background, so depending on what did or didn't happen, you may or may not have any music uh, to hear in the background. But when you race, the music is different. Not really sure why that is, maybe there was some sort of technical limitation or something? Who knows. You can choose from a few different game modes. There's a story mode sort of thing where you choose a character and try to upgrade your bike by winning races, but I usually just uh, choose thrash mode, where you just pick one of the five available courses and go. Multiplayer is really fun. As you might imagine, internet multiplayer isn't supported, but I have played with someone over LAN before and it was amazing. Tons of laps to be had. In the end, at one dollar, I can't really see much to complain about. It would be a good deal even if it were ten dollars. I picked this up at a pawn shop a few years ago, and it's definitely one of my favorite bargain bin finds. I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, you can check out Patreon if you want to support me, check out my Twitter to see what I'm up to, and follow me on Twitch. I stream something every couple of days usually. All the links are in the description. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video.